to borrow or not to borrow? That is the question. Governor John DeYoung made a statement earlier today about the state of the territory. My friends and fellow Virgin Islanders, this is Governor John DeYoung. The reason I'm speaking to you today is to reinforce our plans to ensure the functioning of government in these very difficult times and to explain without rhetoric a very important issue before the 28th legislature. What I will speak of today cannot be spoken without facts, without reason, and without serious regard for the welfare of our people. I speak of my desire to continue to operate our government in a manner that continues to provide employment to our people, services to our residents, and ensure confidence to our business community during this period of economic uncertainty. The upcoming vote in the legislature on Bill 280227 on Tuesday, May 4th, is when your senators will decide whether our government will be authorized to do what we need to do to keep operating and providing vital services at expected levels over the coming months. There has been a great deal of false information and politicking around this current bill. And as I have said, it is time to clarify this situation for all Virgin Islanders. This bill that we are waiting action on by the legislature, plain and simple, will keep our government functioning. And thanks, Governor John DeYoung. And here's some local flavor from yesterday's triathlon. Among them, a beautiful American Idol contestant. Here we are with uh, Deanna Brown. Well, hello there. And I got it right, not Diane. It's Deanna Brown. Deanna Brown. And Deanna, you just sang the national anthem along with Judy Fricks, who did the um, Virgin Island national anthem. And um, you were also uh, one of the contestants on American Idol, uh, which is a big show. We All our viewers watch it. And you're a local. You live here in St. Croix. Yes, I did all of those. Uh, Judy Fricks was nice enough to let me sing the national anthem. She usually does it. Uh, and then I am staying on St. Croix now. I have an album that I've done. And there's a studio here now, too. It's called Aqua Sound Studio. Yeah, you got to show us that CD. Here it is, Deanna Brown. And what is the name of it there? The name of the CD is Traveler. 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 Is this your first one? It is my debut album. Wow. And Little picture it, of St. Croix back so is there. So is it going to like, oh, this is St. Croix, yeah. too. What brought you here? Uh, my friend brought me here from L.A. in order to record and try to make something happen musically. So. Wonderful. Now, your ultimate goal, you were telling me, is to perform at the Super Bowl. That's it. Since fourth grade, I've been wanting to sing the national anthem for a Super Bowl. So. Well, you're getting closer. <laughs> I'm getting closer. Triathlon, Super Bowl. Right? There you go. Hopefully, it'll go in that order, too. All right. Well, now, is this your first Virgin Island triathlon that you've it experienced? It is. What do you think? Oh, it's fantastic. But I'm glad that I'm the choir girl and not in the water. <laughs> right. And uh, now you're from Kentucky. Kentucky. Right. Is, Louisville. Tell us, is, is Louisville, Kentucky, and St. Croix, Virgin Islands similar in any ways? <laughs> it's not very similar. Kentucky and the Virgin Islands are not very similar. <laughs> no. All right. But in other words, you <laughs> Friendly. Have, it's friendly. There you go. Yes. But you're having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time. All right. Well, thank you very much. Could you give us a little something a cappella? What you want to hear? Uh, well, sing to me, baby. Give me see, anything. Uh, what do you have to sing to a hard-working news reporter who got up at 5 o'clock oh, yeah? to cover the triathlon? All right, hold on. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, baby. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care. But when you put your arms around me, I get a fever that just can't be compared. You give me fever. Mm. When you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight, fever in the morning, fever all through the night. Hey guys, eat your heart out. I, I told you to get up early. <laughs> this could have been you. Thank you very much. That was beautiful. Well, we all and especially Wes had a time of our life at the Iron Man yesterday. And on St. Thomas, it was carnival. And here's Lee Carl with some highlights. From the sidewalk in front of Carnival Village to the rocky shoreline hugging the legislature, the best spots on the island were Saturday night, the bittersweet boom boom of the fireworks exploding over Charlotte and Maggie Harbor. Provided the perfect end to the day's festivities. Uh, the last hurrah for the revelers. I could watch them from my house at Black Deer to Hill. The traditional fireworks, always a signal at the end of Carnival. Hundreds of residents either come to watch or pack into the village for the last lap, storing up the sights and sounds until the next year. This time around, the final festivity starting only a few hours after the end of the adult parade would stretch most of the day, bring the troop after troop to the post office Grand Hotel Square, and one of the best parades ever seen in recent years, so says the source. And while everyone was 
coated in thick film of sweat. By the time the 6 p.m. rolled around, there was also no end of cheers and laughter that rang throughout the air. And the music was a little sweeter this year. Costumes a little brighter and more elaborate. Hard to tell. But once released, the carnival bug was infectious, biting everyone from performers in the streets to the little ones bouncing a true bacchanal, many said. All of the old favorites were out, too. Some of the troops amassing huge numbers, like the Trinidad Carnival, broken up to as many as eight and nine sections. Many forget the parade participants are judged in their performance as they come in to the Grand Hotel Square. And one troop that looked like a tribute to Michael Jackson, as a matter of fact, it was. Uh, the first of uh, Sebastian's majorettes honored Michael Jackson in a medley of songs, thriller, Remember the Time, 19-year-old Joel Claudio, a student from Puerto Rico was training with a group that had been mastering his baton skills for more than years. Also on hand, Senator Sean Michael Malone. Well, you got the idea. And the one-man act, Chester Mighty Groover, uh, Charles Matthew and his Shaka Zulu group. It was very, very special. And so it's been a good day, everyone said. Everyone's been wonderful during Carnival, the Juve, the tents, the village, and, of course, the fireworks. To the tune of Steel Band, played on the PA system from WSCA as it wrapped up Carnival 2010, slipping into the history books. In St. Thomas, Lee Carl for News Channel 8. St. Thomas with, with some fireworks. And when we come back from this break, we'll have more highlights from the triathlon in your Sports 411.